It was all we could take. It was all we could make. We tried our best, and I looked in the rails. It was sink or swim. It was me. It was him. brand new year and a brand new season of sing talk play and to start off the season right we've got cow puncher cow puncher Yay. Yay. Do, you guys, uh, do you guys mind introducing yourselves i'm matt ola i'm jeff salima scott martin harley hoft ryan kelly
It was originally called the Lonely Guitar Player's Healing Circle, but that's kind of a mouthful, so we shortened it to Wounded Wing. Uh, how did we write that? We wrote that uh, just kind of jamming. We had these guitar nights at uh, Ryan's house, and we would just uh, we just built it from like layering guitar parts, and and that's why we called it the Lonely Guitar Player's Healing Circle. I think we had a couple of guys that were in and out that were going through relationship stuff too. And so that's why it was sort of a healing circle too, right? Like it was just, <laughs> we just wanted to just kill time playing music. And that song is on the brand new album. It, it is. is. And that brand new album came out a couple weeks back. And it is the third in a roster of amazing work. Let's talk about it a little bit. How was it different from um, the recordings that you guys did previous? Uh, in a lot of ways. Um, we were, we're a smaller band now. We used to be a bit more of a orchestra with uh, a couple more guys in the band. And we're a little bit smaller now as a five-piece. Uh, we recorded the first two albums pretty much live off the floor. And this one was more of a, a you know, a, a tracked album where we did the, uh, we built it off the, the rhythm tracks and just layered on guitars and vocals. And the songwriting's changed too. We're kind of in a new direction songwriting wise so it's totally different than it's different every way is that something you try to do from album to album no we didn't we didn't try to on purpose at all no it's just how they they came out um i think i think uh having a smaller band might have changed how our sound a bit uh we had you know we were more of a you know pedal steel banjo you know outfit before and then now it's all guitar driven so that changes things up a bit, but as as far as the songs go, no, it's just how how they came out. We we don't we didn't really plan to change the sound at all. It just just happened. It's a happy accident. Given you guys are from Calgary, and you're called Cow Puncher, and you have a uh, a country esque sensibility, it, are you guys stereotyped? Well, for it, one, uh, in some towns, they don't even know what Cow Puncher is. Uh, you got to be careful about what. To, uh, what town you're in when you tell them what the name of your band is? Uh, you're talking that. about Nelson? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, they're mostly vegetarians, I gather. <laughs> and uh, they thought we were being offensive towards cows. Yeah. But the, the name Cowpuncher really is just uh, like the lowest on the totem pole as far as ranch hands are. You know, they're the guys that are shoveling poop um, <coughs> and those kinds of things. They're the green, the green members of uh, a ranch family, basically. But to kind of answer another part of that question the country side of things i think we used to kind of really have that sensibility like again referring to some of the other guys we had banjo we had pedal steel harley plays the upright bass i play a baritone guitar matt still plays an acoustic there um and even scotty your rockabilly stuff a little bit too could in some way or another be considered still very uh um traditional in some ways so i think we still have a, a very um i guess uh foundation in that stuff but kind of what Matt was saying. We've moving away from that and going to the stereotype thing, for sure we get typecast as being a country ele element. Um, we, not too long ago, a few months ago, played a, the Country Music Awards um, for their one of their galas. <coughs> and part of us, I think, felt like we didn't belong there necessarily because we've moved in a different direction. But people are still pigeonholing us in that because that's where we came from. But a big part of this album is uh, letting people know that we are uh, doing something different as far as more rock and roll. And so we were trying to consciously break that stereotype. What does the new year hold for you guys? What What are you planning to do and and how are you planning to do it? Uh, we're hoping to get to the States and we're hoping to get out East and just stay on the road as, as much as we can afford to. I know you guys tour, but have you guys done like a cross Canada tour before? No, the, the great cross Canadian tour has eluded us. So hopefully we can get that under our belts. Um, yeah, we've been as far as Toronto, but we need to uh, we need to to get out of our our comfort zone for sure. So we're and and then as well, we want to get to the states as well. So, you guys, as a band, you guys sit down and go, what what are we doing? What's the bl band plan, or or is it just a bunch of friends who accidentally uh, make? We're not we're not we're not friends. Let's let's get one thing straight. We're not friends. <laughs> we're this work, is strictly we yeah, this is yeah, strictly work, a work yeah. thing. <laughs> so do we plan it out? Uh, yeah, we we come we we do like say you know what we should try and do it disco song or something like that we you know we we think of crazy ideas and try to do it and maybe it works out maybe it doesn't but really do we want to do we say sit down and you know write out like oh this is the type of sound we want no uh we just try and i think we do just try and come up with crazy ideas and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't and and you just roll with what works i guess what's one of the funnest shows you guys have played in the last little while 
Our Calgary CD release was pretty fun. Yeah. Confetti cannons do the trick. Confetti cannons, you right? say. Yeah. Sound guys don't like them. No, they do not. Yeah, well, they have to clean the confetti. So. <laughs> <laughs> there's confetti on the floor right now. Yeah, yeah there sure is. From, from, from that show. From that yeah. Show. yeah. 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 <laughs> it gets everywhere. It gets just yeah, follows you. Yeah. It's going to follow you around for the next yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. Jason, can you get in here and clean this up, please? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was looking up on on YouTube the other day how to make a homemade confetti cannon. I think, uh, yeah. It's... Are you on the watch list? Yeah, yet, you or... realize you're on an FBI yeah. list now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know talking to people, I know a lot of Calgarians are, you know, cowpunchers, our band, yeah. going out representing Calgary. We do. Love it. Yeah, we do want to represent Love it. Calgary. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Calgary's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, was say, well, no, no, I got the city of Calgary Oscar tattooed on my break. chest, but yeah. I don't want it to become one of those interviews. Do you have enough room? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one, two. One, two. One, two.